I don't think I understood the damage that um, being silenced as we were for so many years, the toll it took. Kira McCormick sounded the alarm years ago about her former soccer coach, Bob Berarda. Now she's sickened to read the report detailing how Canada soccer mishandled complaints, but hopeful it brings change. It was just such a perfect storm in terms of like all these players with these big dreams and like, you know, everything, it meant everything to play for the national team. And then that was literally what was weaponized against us. The report found a continuing pattern of harassing emails, sexting, flirting, and other inappropriate behavior from a coach with significant power described as godlike. Berarda was allowed to resign in 2008. The report focused on a statement about a mutual decision to part ways without mentioning harassment, calling it a gross mischaracterization of the circumstances and failed the victims of the harassment, their teammates, and the organization as a whole. With no oversight, the organization did not follow the procedures of their own harassment policy. The failure to terminate Berarda and impose disciplinary sanctions afforded him the opportunity to continue coaching, putting other players at potential risk. Canada Soccer did not respond to an interview request, saying in a statement it accepts the findings and recommendations and unequivocally apologizes for letting participants down. These types of abuses and bullying are, are widespread. Uh, many girls quit playing sports because of this before they have an opportunity to really see what their potential is. Many are hopeful the spotlight on Hockey Canada will help spur similar traction here. I want to see um, the same accountability. Soccer Canada, Hockey Canada and other national sports organizations need to be held to account, but also the Ministry of Sports and Sport Canada needs to be held to account. Berarda currently awaits sentencing. He pleaded guilty to three counts of sexual assault and one of touching a young person for a sexual purpose. His lawyer did not want to comment on this new review given the ongoing court action. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.